If you're a developer getting into Web3, NFTs, DeFi, and you have to upload content to IPFS, it could be a little bit daunting, but that is not the case with Pinata. Hi, my name's Steve and I'm with Pinata, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can upload a file to IPFS using the Pinata API. Let's get started. All right, so in order to start using the Pinata API to upload a file, the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and create an API key. That's very easy to do. We just log into our Pinata account, click on API keys here, and then click on new key. From here, you can decide the permissions and the name of the key that you want to use. I'm gonna go ahead and select admin. However, if I want to, I could just select these files right here. And then I'm gonna have a key name, we'll just call this API starter and hit create key. Now, once you do this, you're gonna see this key and you only see it once. So be sure to copy all of this and save it somewhere safe. And yes, I will delete this after we're done with this video. So don't even try it. Next, we'll want to go ahead and go to the Pinata API starter repo, which I'll have a link for down below. And it's really easy to use. We just go here and copy this entire line of code, head over to the terminal, and let's go from there. All right, now that we're in our terminal, we can go ahead and paste this in from the repo. And it's going to go ahead and clone and install everything for us. And it's going to change our directory into the Pinata API starter. So from here, we need to go ahead and open up a particular file using your preferred code editor. And we need to go to the env example. And you can see here, it's gonna say pinata underscore JWT. And this is where we're gonna go ahead and paste in our pinata JWT that we got earlier from our API keys. And just a reminder, there's the pinata API key, pinata API key secret, and then the pinata API JWT. That's the third one, it's the really big one, it's the one we're gonna use. All right, so I've got that saved. Again, I am deleting this key, don't worry about it. And one other thing we're gonna to need to do here is we're actually gonna to need to change the name of this file. So remove the dot example from the name of the file, just make it dot env. That's what we wanna do. And then we can just go ahead and go to pin file to IPFS. This is gonna be our main function that's gonna upload a file to IPFS through Pinata. And just going over it, there's just a few things going on. Uh, we do have Axios to do our API request. We have form data to create a data payload for the API request. Uh, we're using fs to access a file inside of our folder and we're using env to process our secrets and in the actual request itself it's very simple we have a function that's just called pin file ipfs it's an async function doing a try catch and we're creating a new data payload using form data and from here we're going to append three things we're going to append the file by doing a just file and then fs.create read stream and that is accessing a file that actually comes with the repo. You get a free photo of Penny in the assets folder. There it is, very cool. If you wanna upload your own image, you could just swap that image out, make sure you update the name in this spot here, just with the path that you wanna use, and that'll do it. And then we have uh, the Pinata options, which is an object that'll allow you to do things like a different CID version. So if you prefer V1 versus V0, you can change that here. We're just stick with the default, which is V0. And then finally, we have the Pinata metadata. So Pinata metadata is basically the metadata that's stored on Pinata's database, not to be confused with NFT metadata or anything like that. And this metadata will allow you to have a name for the file. You can also do custom key value stores if that helps you with organizing your files and fetching them in your applications. But in general, mostly just name. We're gonna switch it to name right here and we're just gonna name the file Penny. So when we do pin list to list our files through the API, or if we look at the file in our Pinata app UI, we will see the file name that. Finally, we have the actual API request here. We're just doing a axios.post to the URL, which is api.pinatacloud pinning pin file IPFS. We're attaching our data. And of course we have our headers with our authorization. So since we're using the JWT, all we have to do is say authorization and then do bear and then process our JWT. Lastly, we're just gonna log out the API result that we're getting. And we're even going to add in a gateway link where we can do res data IPFS hash and have a link we can click on to view our file on IPFS. So with all of that put in, let's just go ahead and do node pin file to IPFS and see what happens. And there we go. So we have our IPFS hash and a link where we can click on and view the file. That wraps it up for this tutorial. Hope you guys found it useful. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And until next time, have a good one.